Hello everyone, uh, Storm Chasing EMT here. Uh, just thought I'd give a quick little proof of concept video of a little weekend project that I've been working on when I'm not working. <laughs> um, this is a working 3D printed model of a Whelan Hornet siren. Now, there's not too many Whelan sirens being made in the 3D printed mini siren uh, community, so to speak, on YouTube. Uh, maybe because of how many electric components are involved or, uh, you know, moving parts, whatever the case may be. Uh, there's been a few people on YouTube that have kind of taken a crack at making Whelan's. Uh, I know Connor Cruz made a uh, little model of his own of a Whelan omnidirectional. Uh, someone whose username slips my mind at the moment uh, made a yellow 4004 slash vortex head. Um, really just depends on uh, what rotator assembly he chooses to mount that on uh, that makes it what it is, but uh, that's neither here or there. A uh, little bit of background on this project. Uh, the files, coding, everything like that is available uh, on printables.com. guy by the name of JM Printing. Uh, very helpful person. Uh, helped me with the programming on this because I only really have limited experience with Arduino, uh, which is a big part of this project, by the way. Uh, if you are not versed at least a little bit in programming, this is going to be kind of moderately to very hard for you. <laughs> Sorry to burst anyone's bubble, but uh, you need to be pretty uh, tech savvy for this. Uh, not saying I am by any stretch of the imagination, but I just happen to have past experience with Arduino and stepper motors and things like that, which you will need for this project. Uh, if my camera will cooperate, I'm going to try to get good views of what I got going on down here. So um, the rotator box down here is really just a uh, gear and motor system uh, with an axle that attaches to the actual projector itself. Um, the motor is just off the shelf, standard 12 volt stepper motor that you can get from any electronic supply store, um, Radio Shack, etc. cetera. Um, this is just a normal Arduino Uno R3. Um, that was my board of choice. It's very, common. Uh, you can pretty much just program these to do whatever you want. Um, and then I have it paired to a uh, motor driver. You absolutely need to have this because the Arduino on its own cannot run the stepper motor due to voltage con uh, constraints. Uh, I believe it tops out at 12 volts. Anything 12 or beyond that is kind of difficult for the board to process on its own. So you really just need that driver to kind of help push things along. A um, bunch of technical mumbo jumbo that I'm not really going to get into right now because this video is kind of longer than it already is. Um, so without further ado, I'm not going to talk y'all's ears off. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you what this thing does. Ideally, towards the end of the project, I'm going to have a compression driver in there because um, this is where it actually sits in the actual siren in real life is this little uh, hidey hole there and then it, the little cap gets put over it um, and then the wires will go through the projector and then through the hole, there's a hole in the axle if you can see that that goes into the rotor box and then out this little hole, but I actually had to make bigger. The original model didn't really accommodate for the big block assembly right there, which I'm not by any means a uh, throw in shade at JM. He's made this pretty realistic for a 3D model. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna show you a quick alert cycle just for example. So uh, here we go.
All right, and it finished its cycle. Um, that's really all there is to it. Um, you'll notice that there are some screw holes that aren't uh, really... Uh, here, let me cut off the power here because that red light's going to really annoy the camera and myself, admittedly. <laughs> um, so you'll see that there is screw holes that aren't really in use. The front, I did that on purpose because I just glued that. I didn't really see a need to waste screws on that, and it was going to kind of... Uh, interfere with the accuracy and the looks in my opinion uh, if you look at the real hornet in real life there's no like visible screws or anything holding the front so i just kind of took liberties with that uh but these on the side here i am going to get screws for eventually for example's sake i just wanted to kind of get this video um out there um while i had the rotor or the rotator uh, kind of all planned out already. So, um, yeah, if you like what you see, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, haven't really made YouTube content, so don't really know what's expected of me here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned to see this thing eventually completed. And, um, yeah, peace out, guys.